have you join us on another exciting episode of Art House. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Let's check out our lineup for this week. <music> We see some of the exciting pieces by a contemporary painter and it's a traveling exhibition that began in Lagos. Then it's off to Port Harcourt in River State to enjoy the latest pieces by this upcycling artist. what to expect on today's show. Details in a moment. There is no problem in this world that cannot be solved. The New Me is a traveling solar exhibition of 35 collectibles, including 23 paintings shown by Babalola Lawson. It's his latest artistic style at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Lagos. This traveling exhibition begins at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Lagos. Renowned for his exquisite pen and ink creations, Babalola Lawson unveils a transformative collection featuring 23 exclusive acrylic and canvas paintings among the 35 remarkable works on display. And I should also add that this is a traveling exhibition. So we are looking at taking this exhibition to Top Pyramid Art Center in Benin and the Top Pyramid Art Center in Abuja, where the exhibition officially ends. So we are showcasing 35 artworks featuring 23 works that are fresh, or fresh artistic styles, fresh techniques, and have never yet been displayed until now. I have been working for a very long period of time for now, I just discovered that I have to come up with new idea to be part of this new generation of artists. Visitors have been invited to immerse themselves in this journey of the new me and witness the unfolding of a new chapter in his artistic narrative. I started this journey of art since 1993. I moved down to Lagos in 1999 when I discovered that the atmosphere of art in Lagos is quite different from where I'm coming from. And now I've tried to exhibit in two, three places, but this one is my fifth solo exhibition. Laolala Lawson is, is a legend in his, in his own right, and from, as a curator of the show, you can obviously see that this is an artist who is putting a lot of effort into not just relenting into his previous achievements. He's putting a lot of effort into uh, making sure that he's relevant in the current um, art age that we are, especially knowing that the art industry currently is very competitive. So yes, he's a very hardworking artist. And with works that I've seen that many people can attest to from seeing this exhibition, he's going to be rebranding himself into a contemporary art icon. It's his fifth solo exhibition 
and those that have watched Lawson over time are impressed with how his works have evolved. Results are actually, you can say they are mysterious in a way, and they also are very interrogative. So they, they speak on so many themes. For instance, there is one of the work, myself and my wife, I think, which touches a little bit on environmental sustainability, reducing, um, reducing waste and, and some of them. So we also have other artworks that are talking on, you know, who we are, talking on who we are, our identity, celebrating our culture, putting all of those things together. It's just all focused on celebrating the new us as Nigerians, the new us as African, and then celebrating the new me. Dari Baba Lola Lawson has been through a lot of processing. He's an Oshobo, an old confirmed Oshobo artist that then through uh, Mr. Johnson. Now he has developed this Oshobo art into a highly contemporary form that uh, I think collectors should do well to start picking now because this is a completely different Oshobo style that has evolved to very high level of production you know, and creativity. That is Babalola Lossi for you. particular work there called Where is the Paradise? Oh. We discover that every one of us is aiming to go to paradise. Where is the, par the main paradise? Is we are working to make a living on this earth and we are still preparing to make our other living in paradise that we are doing. So I have to just put it out of people's head to find out where, how beautiful the paradise it is in their mind. But this is how the paradise looks like my own mind. And there I have another one. Where is the rider? We are in this where is rider we have a lot of ladies and a bicycle. That means we have this like we have the nation that we don't really know where we are going to where people are just doing things in their own way. We have a fatal line. And yes, who are the people that participate in the land? It's a traveling exhibition, so this show is expected to move to other parts of the country. We take a moment on the program. When Art House return, we head to another gallery, but this time in Port Harcourt, at the River State Capital, to enjoy another solo show. Do stay with us. Our wordsmith for this week is titled, I am woman, written by Elizabeth Oluwatui. I am a woman, not just a woman. I nurture man and raise nations that birth creations. I am not only virtuous, I am industrious. I am not only fearless, I am selfless. I am not only beautiful, I am powerful. I am not only full of energy, I do unimaginable things for synergy to break the bias. These are the works of art you sent in recently.
Let's begin with this acrylic on canvas work called Her Intention Turned Gold by Light Ganagana. Gana. Then Innocent Chikizia is asking everyone not to forget to smile with Smile of Existence, done with acrylic on canvas. Then full image of Mirror Man, that's what Sunny Michael calls his ball pen on paper work. According to him, popular artist Chris Brown was a muse. Then Jerome Amadou is saying happiness is free with this acrylic on canvas work. Daily Income is an acrylic on canvas work as well, but this one is done by Daniel Ajayi. While the Sun Shines is by Fanope Ibrahim, done with oil on canvas. Then Drum Beat is a mixed media work done by Ish. Raymond Patrick has nature, an oil and canvas piece. And we wrap things up with this untitled piece done by Ogunlisi Paul with newsprint and acrylic on canvas. And that concludes the works of art you sent in recently. We appreciate you as always for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. The Treasures Within is a solo exhibition by this upcycling artist at this art gallery in Port Harcourt, River State. This is the De La Roque Art Gallery in Old Giare, Port Harcourt in River State. The brick house area is wearing a new look. It's filled with works of art created by upcycling artist Aguru Woko, who is making a case for the preservation of the environment and the treasures within. I'm an experimental artist. My works are based on the things I found, you know, that ordinarily would have been erased, and that's what I bring into back to human space by way of uh, decoration, you know, works that will also stand as, a, you know, value to humans, representing one 
thing or the other depicting an idea you know emotions and all of that so that's what uh, this whole space is telling us today This artist is one of those creatives passionate about nature and turning discarded items to beautiful rubbish. Little wonder that some of the works of art are made up of bottle corks, beads, copper wires and other found objects. Wakes are, are being generated by human in the course of living, you know. But I, I choose to, you know, collect wine cork because the way it appears to me, you know, they look like wood to me, and um, I, I, I like the way it appears. You know, they are malleable. You know, it, it comes in triangulation for me. What I call triangulation of process, you know. Triangulation, I mean, I, I source for them, you know, bring them to my workspace, process them, and bring back to human space. That's the triangulation I mean, yeah. You know, so ordinarily, our sense of exposing refuge here in Nigeria, it's what actually, you know, incubate that idea of the kind of art I do. The curator also explains the motivation behind supporting this artist. Besides the unique pieces, the message is crucial. Today, most of the works here interrogate wastes and materials that could have been discarded. You know, but this artist has successfully harnessed all these materials that otherwise would have been thrown away as rubbish and has repurposed them into um, interesting forms that now appeal to the human. It's actually very interesting, again, because um, nobody likes dirt and waste, but somehow Hokuagu has been able to make all of us to enjoy waste. The over 20 images displayed have left an indelible mark on the visitors. Very creative, very creative and um, the artist is very adaptive to materials, heterogeneous materials, discards. Mm, all these works you can see, works made up of bits and pieces obviously taken from recycled, if I describe them recycled, and repurposed materials, including heterogeneous materials like cork tops and um, petrochemical byproducts, polyurethanes, etc., polyethylenes, etc. Very creative. The work of art has a taste of time. Um, an author I read once described the work of art as the remnants of ourselves. That's what the artist gives to us. And another author said that art is the artist documenting experience he gathered from looking at the world and what the world has to give to humanity. So it's an expression of uh, space-time experience of humanity. And if it is that, it simply means that it has such value in terms of documenting times and memories and then living for humanity, what is left of the humankind 
in terms of its interaction and living in the world. So every artist at every age has had the opportunity or the drive, the necessary opportunity to create works of art arising from their experience of time and space. Art, like we said, is a little, a little thing, but I don't believe so. It's, it's, it's like um, from waste to work. That's what I see my work, you know, like, you know, if you look at the whole lot of the joints, people waste, and I bring them to the space you're seeing here. They don't really look like the waste anymore. So these are what's that can occupy your blank space in your living houses, in your environment, you know, that ordinarily would have been thrown away. You know, you can see them now looking very beautiful because if, if, the, if I had allowed them to be with, you wouldn't have seen what you're seeing here. So it's a reverser, it's what I have, you know, picked up and given back to society. They have more value than what it was. This is what some persons would call upcycling. You know, it's called upcycling in art. They were not what it is originally meant for. But now you are having them in another value, in another light, you know, in another meaning. So that sense of upcycling them is what the treasure within it. Aguru Woko has many years of artistic experience under his belt. And to him, the message conveyed through the art is as important as the art itself. We have more to see and enjoy, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. On Art House next week... Beyond Mimesis is a solo exhibition by Kelly Omodawe at Signature Beyond Art Gallery, Lagos. Then it's off to the nation's capital, Abuja, for a solo exhibition by contemporary artist Sor Sen called Earthlings and Others. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program this week. We appreciate you for being great company and look forward to interacting with you on our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Akinami, urging you to keep adding color to the world. Mm -hmm.